What do many, if not most all, of these mass shootings have in common? I'll give you a hint. It's a pharmacological link. And we've talked about this for years. Now, that said, I think we all also know that there are very strong reasons to believe that many of these mass shootings are politically motivated in terms of false flags. They're getting a lot of mileage out of these things. Now they've introduced a bill to take away. It's all gun control. Once we lose our guns, we're done. We are literally done. That's it. So I know a lot of Americans will go out fighting rather than give up their right to the Second Amendment of the most magnificent documents ever created, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Ann Tracy has been following this for a long, long time. Ann Blake Tracy, for those of you who don't know Ann, she has been literally immersed in the whole SSRI antidepressant nightmare for decades, studying it, testifying. She gets called all the time asking uh, if she'll be able to testify to help people uh, when there are cases involving uh, the horrible reaction of SSRIs. And any it doesn't matter what the name of your antidepressant is. If you're on antidepressants, we're going to tell you how to get off. And we're going to make the case for exactly why you should get off as soon as possible. And welcome back. It's been a while. Good to hear from you again. Thank you, Jeff. It's good to talk to you again. We I, I think we first started this over 20 years ago, you were telling us. Oh, at least. Yeah, yeah. And I've been doing you, it for 30 years, so. It's 30, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, w when. And I thought it would take maybe a year at the most, even with all the red tape, for everybody to understand they're doing everything backwards with these drugs. Right. Now we're still yeah. here 30 years later. <laughs> and they're still on the market, and doctors are still writing scripts for them right and left. They don't stop. Oh, are you having a tough time, are you? 49%, I think, <clears throat> this last year with COVID. Anxiety, COVID anxiety. Let's call it 50% in one year, COVID anxiety. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's amazing. Well, and it's all money. We mean nothing. It's all money. In the last two years, mass shootings have increased. They've dub doubled. They've doubled in the mm -hmm. last two years. It's just one incredible. Of, one of the th it, it is. One of the things we used to talk about long ago was how do we find out if the shooter was on SSRIs or not? Has that become any easier over the years, or is it harder to find out now because of HIPAA it's and all of that? It's harder. Mm -hmm. It's harder. So how do you do it? Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> I don't sleep. <laughs> no. uh, you work awfully hard, I know. Do you get uh, tips from people? Hey, I knew such and such, or I... I, I do. And, and, and he, she, I would think, he, she was definitely on SSRIs, antidepressants. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's more people that are awake, and they're asking questions. So mm -hmm. <sighs> because mm -hmm. they're out there asking questions... I and mean, people know other people, and it starts to spread, you know, so they'll start asking. Right. The problem is the reporters don't ask, and neither do <laughs> officers. And <laughs> no. Nope. The people who should be asking. Well, watch, just watch the, uh, I've only seen clips of it, but the Biden news conference today with these uh, these trained puppet <laughs> reporters asking questions that were already submitted, the answers to which were already written and in the teleprompter. We don't have journalism anymore in this country, except on the Internet no. and except in certain circumstances. And a lot of the Internet journalists are, are just, they're self-aggrandizing headline seekers, some of them. Some of them are plants. Some of them are created opposition. Some of them are sincere, but they're just not very sharp. You've got to really be careful. The Internet is, is quite a jungle now. It's a primary means of mass mind control and manipulation. So is social media. Of course, social media is a, a, a gift, 
for all of these people who want to control the whole country, the world for that matter. All right, tell us about this, this uh, the Boulder shooting. What do you know so far? Which one? Boulder or Atlanta? We've got both. Well, take Boulder. your pick. <laughs> uh, well, Atlanta was first. Can we talk about that one first? The, of course, they want you to believe it was an Asian hate crime. And uh, there's really no evidence of that whatsoever. Right. They asked him why he did it, and he clearly told them. He was just as open as he could be about why. He has a problem with sex. He's addicted to it. And he felt I mean, that Yeah, those, he did come forward with that yeah, right away. And he felt that those girls were what was making him continue with that. But that is so incredibly common with an antidepressant. They even have increased libido listed. And the drugs cause mania yeah. so quickly that many psychiatrists refused in the beginning to even prescribe these drugs when they first came out mm -hmm. because they cause mania, nymphomania. Mania, mania, nymphomania. Interesting. Okay, go ahead. This yeah. is uh, I haven't I haven't heard nymphomania as one of the side effects or direct effects. Oh yeah. Hmm. I had a guy that <clears throat> was masturbating so frequently. I mean, some idiot doctor had put him on double the maximum dose of Paxil. Double. And then dropped him cold turkey. Oh, So he how clever. just Yeah, and they have antidepressant withdrawal-induced mania is a diagnosis. And that's what this poor guy went into. He was wanting to castrate himself because he felt so bad that he could not control what was going on. So that's a similar profile to what, what happened in Atlanta. You what think? this guy, exactly. Hmm. I just went, oh, great, another one. Mm -hmm. But the poor kid obviously had, I mean, he went. He went into a program to be treated for the sexual addiction. Mm -hmm. You know what they treat them with for that? Oh, go, no, don't. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's an antidepressant every oh, freaking God. time. Oh, God. And then they set them down in front of porn and show them porn. What, to desensitize the them, allegedly? Well, they're testing to see how they respond to it. <laughs> These wow. people are sick, Jeff. <laughs> they're really that sick. Truly, that truly is sick. That's bad. That's I mean, bad they news. show them such bad porn mm -hmm. that the people who've had the reactions to these drugs mm -hmm. sit there and say... It's the hardest thing they've ever done to sit there and watch the stuff. Well, That's it sounds pretty damned abusive to me. Is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, mean, I don't. That's treatment. How, how is that, that considered is therapeutic? Treatment. <laughs> you got me. How is it considered therapeutic to increase someone's serotonin levels when we know that causes violence? In fact, their own experts have testified in court that when you do this, when you interfere with the metabolism of serotonin, you produce impulsive murder and suicide. What is it about serotonin issues that would lead to that? That's a pretty extreme and pretty violent byproduct. Or primary product, oh, not, yeah, not I know. byproduct. Why? I know. What is it about serotonin that causes that? Does anybody know? Uh, I don't know. I put. We've got 
on our website at drugawareness.org, right on the front page, there's a study posted about mutant mice. Mm -hmm. They were they were experimenting, and the experiment went totally wrong. And these mice ended up being the most violent creatures the researchers had ever seen. And they're going, whoa. You know, the minute we put one of these mice in a cage with another one, they shred one another. What's going on here? And one of the researchers remembered that there was some research out of Denmark, I believe it was, where they looked at one particular family where they had all kinds of violent crime, rape, murder. And so they looked into that family. They found out that they did not inherit the MAO enzyme. The MAO enzyme is what breaks down serotonin so that it will turn into melatonin so you can sleep mm -hmm. and all these other things. And so and they checked the mice. They found out that they also lack that MAO enzyme, which is apparently how these drugs are working. They're interfering with the metabolism of serotonin, and the way you do that is the MAO enzyme. How common is it to have people with no MAO? I don't and know. And what would cause that? Any guesses that people know? What well, would cause the, a lack of MAO? There's a lot of things that we know will interfere with the metabolism of serotonin. Dairy does. Uh, sugar does. Hmm. So... Well, wait, uh, what, okay. What happens if you give someone MAO supplementation? Has anyone done I, that? I don't know that there is such a thing. Well, see, that's an interesting idea. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. for our listeners out there who don't know, and there are a lot of them who don't. I, it took me a while. What is serotonin? Where is it made? And what is its primary function, besides turning into melatonin? Uh, it's one of the neurotransmitters. And it is associated with mood. But it's the exact opposite of what they're telling everyone. It's when it is metabolized that it helps with all of this. These mm -hmm. drugs inhibit the metabolism, which they call reuptake. It inhibits the reuptake of serotonin. So you cannot break it down and utilize it. So it starts to build up in your body. And, mm -hmm. what's and its the main first? function of it is constriction of muscle tissue. Most of it is found in the gut where it can huh. move the waste out of the body. Serotonin. The colon. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if it goes to the muscle tissue, would that not lead to stress, uh, tension? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't necessarily relax you. No, it doesn't Seems to at all. It would have the opposite effect. Okay. All right. I have a so friend who's a massage therapist, and she says she can tell the minute she touches someone's back mm -hmm. whether or not it's they're on an antidepressant because their wow. muscles are in knots. Wow. And muscle wow. damage was one of the first reactions they saw mm -hmm. with these drugs. So So it, it starts the spiral of, of stress mm -hmm. right from the, the oh, beginning. It because it, it locks but up it locks up your back, it locks up your neck. Uh that that's right. very interesting about the, your massage therapist friend's comment. That is very interesting. Yeah. It must be it must be really blatant when somebody's back is that locked up that they're obviously on SSRIs. How interesting. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. people so, end up with fibromyalgia in the end. They all 
but if your muscles oh, are that's tight con- like that, uh-huh. you know, and you're trying to move, of course, it's starting to damage the muscle. So. Fibromyalgia. That's an end product. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Or a mass murder. Uh, okay. That's exactly. not to say that all of you out there who are on antidepressants <laughs> are going to go out and kill 10, 20 people. But you need to understand what you're dealing with. And I wonder, this goes back to that informed consent issue. That's and right. How many Nobody's people... Nobody's informed. <clears throat> Thank you. You Nobody. go into the doc... And you say, oh, I'm really having a tough time, and everybody is now. And the doc says, oh, have you, are you on any medication? If you're lucky, they'll ask you that. Many of them will just pull out the mm-hmm. form, I'm sure, and start writing. Here, That's try right. this out. Try. This is crazy. It's oh, as crazy as it was when I first met you over 20 years ago. We had we had a case of a 14-year-old girl, I think it was, that started getting warts. Warts. Uh-huh. The doctor prescribed Zoloft. She committed suicide. And guess what <laughs> the drug company tried to say caused her suicide? It wasn't their drug. It was those warts. This is all. It didn't work. It's all. (laughs) Oh, good. They lost. (laughs) Good. Uh, Are there are there free rides for these SSRI manufacturers now, or can they still be held liable? It's pretty hard because they've. When we went back and testified to the FDA in 2004, there were warnings added that they caused suicide. So as far as suicide goes, you're pretty much out of luck. Because they just go, we told it's on you the that there we was that you. possibility. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you decided so, to take it. So. so if you're depressed, dear friends, and you've had suicide ideation, or ideation, however you want to pronounce mm-hmm. it. If you've thought about suicide, you don't want to take these drugs. You don't want the doctor to say, yeah, you're suicide, you're depressed, that depressed, wow, we're going to put you right on Zoloft here, that'll help. That's not the way you want to go. Do these, do these doctors, I, there's two questions I have. Do many of the younger doctors actually not know? And question two, Mm -hmm. do any of them really give a damn anymore? I'm sure there are some. I shouldn't say that's not a good question. Yeah, really. But the the majority of them. We have heard that 75% of them are on them. Oh, Oh, how nice. The oh, blind nice. leading the blind. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It just gets worse. We I remember talking. We had one conversation when we thought that uh, this whole SSRI thing, antidepressants, would kind of drift away and be replaced by the next gen of mm-hmm. psychotropics. And it never happened. They're still here. The SSRIs. Bud Ketamin is out now. If you, wait a minute. Ketamine, ketamine, ketamine is actually being prescribed. commonly prescribed? For depression? That, that causes right to incredible... The, I know. <laughs> t- talk about walking in and hallucination. Try some ketamine. Uh-huh. Wow. Which is exactly what the brainwave patterns of somebody on these antidepressants shows anyway. Oh. They're sleepwalking, but they appear awake. They appear like they're functioning. They may seem different than the person you knew before they took the drug. <laughs> and that's why. Zombie apocalypse. 
Mm-hmm. And there are many, exactly. many routes to that uh, to that outcome. Uh, this 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 sure vaccine is. that they're giving will lead, I think, to a lot of people who are very sick, uh, mentally sick. And they're going to be mm-hmm. similar. And when they get sick, what's going to happen to them? Yeah. Does that affect serotonin? And the reason I ask is there was a woman in Utah Mm -hmm. that got the vaccine and four days later died. She died of multiple organ failure. Uh, It destroyed her. Serotonin syndrome, where the serotonin level is too high, Mm -hmm. you die from multiple organ failure. Now, that's that's very oh. important. Somebody needs to look into that. That's a big topic. I, I know. hope somebody does. Do you have any friends who are scientists in this field that could take that on and begin to look into it? It's all about money, of course. Well, one of my dearest friends was the researcher that came up with all the research that they used to make these drugs. Unfortunately, she's gone now, but she was on our board of directors. So she had completely gone. She's done a 180, and she did a 180. Oh, yeah. She calls them monsters. (laughs) Wow. All right. Hold on. And yet she's the one that did all the research. Understood. It happens. Back in a minute with Ann Blake Tracy. Hold on. Program for any length of time, you'll know that Fukushima, the greatest calamity in history, has now, as I've been warning since 311, killed off virtually the whole North Pacific Ocean and especially up and down the entire West Coast. The radiation is migrating inland and is moving across the entire country. There's only one proven defender to radiation exposure, the brilliant Chernobyl-proven discovery of Dr. Michael Kuriak, which combines the four most potent and powerful algaes on the planet, imported to the U.S. and known as Bio Superfood. I've taken Bio Superfood every day for several years now and want you to do the same for your sake and the health and safety of your family and loved ones. Take the banner at the top of rents.com and prepare to learn how to save your life. Scientists in England have succeeded in stabilizing the time-honored substance in garlic that destroys harmful bacteria, viruses, molds, yeast, and fungus. This all-natural microbe killer is called Allison C, and it's now available to you in 100% vegetarian capsules only on the New Earth page at rents.com. This powerful broad-spectrum antimicrobial agent is harmless to friendly bacteria and has been concentrated to equal an astonishing 35 cloves of garlic in each vegetarian capsule. Think about it. The antibacterial, antiviral strength of 35 odorless cloves of garlic in just one capsule. Allison C is so effective it even destroys Superbug MRSA in test after test. Allison C is truly an incredible advance in natural medicine. And with the threats of bacterial and viral diseases and pandemics growing, no home should be without it. Learn more and order Allison C on the New Earth page at rents.com. Oxygen. It's nature's oldest therapy and plays an essential role in destroying viruses, bacteria, mold, yeast, and fungus, and keeping the human body healthy and strong. Now, you can give your body and your immune system a mega boost of disease-fighting oxygen with all-natural OxyC. With so many people now leading a sedentary indoor lifestyle, most are in a chronic state of oxygen deprivation, which sets up a perfect environment for disease, general fatigue, and a host of other symptoms. OxyC is yours in simple, convenient capsules. Nothing to mix, nothing to hassle with. Take it with juice or water anytime. Feel a cold or flu approaching? Have no energy or spark anymore? Try all natural Oxy C and prepare to be amazed. Oxy C is only available from New Earth Health Solutions at rents.com. Look for the New Earth Health.com. There's still time to leave. I'm recording. Great to one of the most gorgeous safe havens on the American continent, in the heart of the beautiful tropics, in Panama. 
This wonderful, well-organized, fully functioning rural community is seeking a few more residents of like mind. People who want to be able to easily grow food year-round and not have to worry about 5G or forced mandatory vaccines. And it's a genuine tax haven with the U.S. dollar as currency. Yes, all this and more in friendly, beautiful Finca Bayano, Panama, which is waiting to welcome you right now. Take the banner at rents.com and prepare to be amazed. America is in grave trouble and many are relocated. Whose phone is that? Why not you? Real people. Whose? Real stories. Is Tanner asleep? Is Tanner asleep? On the TV? What's she watching? At this point, I don't want to ever be without it. Our little dog developed this one problem. But the chemotherapy lasted for six months. He started developing more uh, lymph nodes that were swelled up. So I thought I'd just try carnivore. The oh, lymph nodes started uh -oh. to go down, the swelling did. Then Where's I went to the vet to have him checked out, and there was no signs at all inside. My cat had issues that developed in his eye, so my veterinarian said, you know what, let's go ahead and remove the eye. I heard the carnivore on advertising, so I said, you know what, I'm going to order this product. They did all the tests. I kid you not, this product saved his eye. Call 866-836-8735. Want to watch something? Who's been watching all night? Or visit carnivore.com. That's C A R N I P O R A dot com. Who remains uh, the most heroic spokesperson for antidepressant sanity in this country? Aubrey? For a long time. We're seeing, again, stories in the news that represent horror, tragedy, grief for people for the rest of their lives, the loved ones, the families, the friends of those who are, are dead. Um, this particular Boulder, Colorado shooting just happened. Now the Democrats are pushing for gun control and so forth. What I just want to ask you, what is your personal opinion? I won't tell you mine, but I think you already know it. About the Second Amendment, what do you think? I really appreciate the Second Amendment. I know most of the people that I have worked with who've had these reactions and hurt someone would far rather have had someone kill them. Understood. Okay. My sense is that if every American who wanted to were trained and given a firearm, a sidearm, uh, these these shootings would be stopped very quickly. Mm, it just wouldn't go on. Maybe. And that's my sense of it. They would uh, be stopped as they started anyway. That's right. But the gun isn't going to stop the no. chemical reaction going on in their bodies and brains. Nope, and it's just it won't. so wrong. Why is it okay to have drugs on the market that have suicide and homicide listed as side effects? And just no, more insanity. Uh, there's, there's, the only reason is money. The only reason is money. Right. It's not medical. It's not in, intellectual. It's not common sense. It's just money. And that tells us what they think of us. We're expendable. We're useless That's eaters. Right. They don't care. Same with the vax. Same with too many other things to mention. All right, let's look at yeah. this. This uh, the, the Boulder shooting. One. Tell what is she? What do you know about that? Have you been able to unearth anything? This guy apparently had serious yeah. problems in high school, and I'm wondering if they put him on in high school. Do we know? Well, he did go through an anger management program earlier. <laughs> How much earlier, <laughs> I don't know. But I've never seen anyone come out of an anger management program without a prescription for an antidepressant. Yeah, Eric anger management. and Dylan at Columbine both mm -hmm. went through an anger management program. Well, they got to stop showing him the porn. You see, that's the problem oh. with anger <laughs> management classes. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
anger management. I don't know yeah. that they show them that, but yeah. I'm kidding. All right, uh, <laughs> I just saw it's so horrible. I got to laugh at some of it. It's just it defies. I, it's belief. unbelievable. I know. Yeah. It's just all right. Total so tell insanity. us about this this uh, <laughs> this the Syrian. A kid, I think he was born here or came over as a little child, is what I understand. Right, right. he was raised in America. So, um, anyway, I know all the reports said that he showed up just in shorts. And it's still really cold there. They just had that really big storm, what, two weeks ago? I don't, yeah, so the two snow, minus two. Coming up this weekend, it'll be two weeks ago. Yeah. But anyway, he just showed up Are you up saying he had, only sh- he had only shorts? No, Did he have a T-shirt? N- no, they said he just had shorts. But then someone weird. else said that he was wearing tactical gear. So I don't know. He was extremely paranoid. He thought that people were following him. So, I don't know. Uh, and we'll hear that's more a very, later. But that, that, that's a big red flag when you have two yeah. such divergent descriptions. Was he mm-hmm. or wasn't he in tactical gear? This is there's something not right here. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it doesn't that's, make a lot of sense. Makes no sense. So, but... He started shooting the minute he got to the front door. And he it just it sounded like he was a total zombie. So who knows? Did he wake right, up before you know he got up it? that day? <laughs> yeah. What else do we know? Anything about him? Yeah. He look I saw him in court today. He looked calm. He didn't look worried. He doesn't care. Whatever. He's he looks like he's. Did, oh, another question. When he was arrested, when any of these shooters are arrested, do they take their meds away, or do they allow them uh, to be taken under prison or jail doctor's supervision? That's a question I've both. never been able to get answered. They do both. It depends on the place. Um, I don't know if you remember. Oh, gosh, what was his name? The guy that used to do late-night shows on TV encouraging people to invest in real estate. I think that's what it was. Dark-headed. He would be walking along the beach talking about doing that. I don't know if that rings a bell. but Yeah, yeah, I think I know. Yeah, okay. I they think arrested I, I, and prosecuted him for some kind of investment thing. Uh-huh. Um, I think it had to do with a supplement. And he was on the drugs. And they put him in, I think he made it as far as a prison in Arizona. And they didn't give him his meds. And he hung himself. Just within days of going in, because he was in withdrawal. And these drugs have horrid withdrawal. These things can happen in the withdrawal state. Hmm. I've got a guy that, well, he was back on, so come to think of it. But, yeah, going off of him, well, that's what happened in comedian Phil Hartman's case. His wife had had her dose cut in half just three weeks before. And she yeah. got up in the middle of the night mm. while she had she'd been writing a screenplay on a woman who shoots her husband in his sleep. Oh, God. What are you going to be dreaming about if you're working on something like that constantly? But and as, as drugs, Anne has said forever, what these drugs do is literally you wake up, but you're still dreaming. You're walking and talking your dreams. That's what they do. Right. 
and she wasn't sure she had to go get a friend to come and check to see if Bill was even dead because she didn't know what was real and what was a dream. And I hear that all the time. But this when is... sleep disorder, that's what right. you do. And they found that 86% of those that go into that disorder, where 80% of those hurt themselves or someone else, including murder and suicide, but 86% of them are taking these drugs. Why isn't that headline news? Too much money. It's all money. Yeah. They don't care. Don't the media doesn't care. The media is owned by six corporations, 95% of it. They don't care. Yeah. It's We're true. useless eaters to the media. Well, they and don't clear care. back in, oh, was it 95, 96? Letterman did an interview with the editor of the Washington Post. And he said that 45% of their reporters at that point were taking antidepressants because they did a wow. big front page spread of the yellow brick road and Dorothy following it to the inventors of Prozac. <laughs> well, I've and never remember, seen a paper like it. No. Remember how Anne addresses this uh, it's all about Prozac 1 and Prozac 2. T tell them how you view the whole field of antidepressants. Well, they're all just clones of Prozac. They're all copycat. I mean, the SNRIs are a little bit different, but hardly. Um, they affect serotonin and norepinephrine, which really all of them do anyhow but they at least admit it. Mm -hmm. So there's a slight difference, maybe. All but right. affects her is what Andrea Yates was on when she drowned her five kids. Right. And that one was the first one to add homicide to the list of side effects. Homicidal ideation. That's a compulsion mm -hmm. to kill. Mm -hmm. Compulsion and the, the to reason, kill. Yeah. The reason why what do you, is Anne, because hold I on. gave them what a doc call. What doctor, and they got to know this, they got to know. What doctor would give another human being something that would cause suicide ideation or homicidal obsession? Ideation. Whatever. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like Twilight Zone. This, is, this could I be know. an episode of the Twilight Zone. Doctors prescribing this stuff. And we could do another episode on the coronavirus vaccine. Right. Easy. Now, a lot right. of people are going to be depressed when they find out what they've been. Let's say they're feeling reasonably okay and all that. And a lot of them aren't. They're going to get depressed. They're going to go to the doctor. And with the doctor, in, in 90, 99 times out of 100, will write a prescription for an antidepressant. And mm -hmm. that's, it, this whole thing has so many angles to it that are just horrible for people. I, I just, I, I really grieve for people. They're trusting their government. Haven't we learned anything since the murder of John well, Kennedy? Um, yeah, really. Another thing, though, Jeff, is early on, when... Like 93, I think it came out, there was a study done, and they found that these SSRIs, uh, Prozac, I think, was the one that they tested. Uh -huh. They found that it was turning brain cells into corkscrew shapes. Really? Does that tell you why Changing the, the shape of brain cells. Their thinking? Yeah. yeah. Literally. How weird. I know. I thought it was, was funny. They called it corkscrew shaped. What, did they, was there a paper done on this 
with visuals? Yeah. I don't know if I'd it lo- has I visuals. mean, if you have an article on that, I, I'll publish it. That's I'd love to see pictures okay. of that. Okay. And are these corkscrew shapes, does anyone know? Uh, are they recoverable? Can the cell return to its normal shape if the medication, excuse me, the SSRIs are removed? Will the cells recover? Nobody's, it, nobody's looked at that as far as I know. And but paid not I to, think probably. It, yeah, I think you can. I think it's the high serotonin probably that's causing them to constrict as well. Wow. So if you can get the serotonin. So if the muscles can go into normal, spasm, the brain cells why not the brain potentially. Cells? Yeah. Sure. So people get back to pretty much normal if they get off and start working at rebuilding their nutrition because you cannot interfere with the metabolism of serotonin without interfering with the metabolism of all kinds of nutrients. Science isn't that precise. They like people to think that they are, but it's all a crock. <laughs> it really is. Okay, let but me go back to my... Uh, uh, just this boulder thing. We, uh, he's a minor, right? I guess he's a minor. Or was he 18? Uh, will he we have a 21. chance... To, oh, that's right. Will we have a chance to find out what meds he is he is on? Will that, or we have to wait for the trial? Will that even be brought up, or will the pharmaceutical companies be there paying the family in advance to block those kinds of questions in his defense? You never know. How many times have you heard of? Uh, the big pharma companies paying paying families, paying oh, survivors. The first big one, do you remember the Louisville shooting? Tell he went me in more. and killed seven or eight co-workers and then himself. Because Vaguely. after being on Prozac for two weeks, he began to believe that he was being raped by his co-workers, which is a common reaction, too. So and who do people talk to? Who do people talk to when they're put on these drugs and they have these kinds of, of nightmares that they wake up from but don't wake up from and actually start their day still in that kind of frame of mind? This is really scary stuff. I know. I know. And they tell me that the dreams are more real to them than the reality. More real. Yeah. Well, look at Roseanne Barr. She was absolutely convinced that her parents had molested her starting at six months of age. See, On this Prozac, is... On Prozac, she firmly believed that once she finally got off. Right. She said it was the biggest mistake of her life, and it was caused by her medication, which was Prozac. I know because I worked with their parents for years, trying to help them to understand what was going on. Oh, those poor parents. I know. <sighs> and her father died before she got out. That was so sad. I mean, you 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 know, if you're a good a good parent, mom or dad, and wonderful people. I believe her mother you. is an angel. I just. Incredible and the woman. kid would pull that and say that about loving, wonderful parents. And but it's, Roseanne, it's not the kid's fault. Uh, no, she but, had a terrible accident when she was 16. She was hit by a car and the hood ornament embedded in her forehead. You cannot give these drugs to someone who's had a head injury. And they do it all the time. That's a concussion. That's that's a, uh, any kind of a head more injury. Than a concussion. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, in her case, that's that's pretty horrible. Uh, right. The idea of, of children, uh, implantation of thoughts, is 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 child's play now. If if they mm-hmm. want to mess somebody up, they can put all kinds of thoughts in their mind, in their memory banks that never happened. Turn them against mm-hmm. their parents, against their friends. It's very simple to do. I, I mean, I'm not yeah. really downplaying this. It's a big deal, but they can do it. Uh, they can do it very easily with these drugs because they're having these nightmares that seem so real to them, and often they're sexual in nature. So they think it's real. In fact, it's so common that if I meet someone who's been on the drugs for about three years, I... <laughs> For a while there, I just started saying, so who do you think sexually molested you? (laughs) There seemed to always be somebody there. So it's scary. My daughter had an 11-year-old come over and watch her kids one day while she ran somewhere. And then she called me later. She said, Mom, I found out that that the little girls on Paxil. I said, oh, my gosh, don't let her in your house again. (laughs) And she was worried because she knows enough about the drugs. She's seen so much with what I do Mm -hmm. that she was afraid that the girl could hurt the the kids. And I said, if you ever want to see your husband again, don't let her in your house because she could easily start accusing him of sexually molesting her. Sure. Yeah. Whether she's seen him or not. (laughs) Understood. It's just scary. All right. One of the things that Anne Blake Tracy has done for countless people is help them intelligently and properly get off of these meds. And right. let's talk about that just for a minute or two, and then you're going to tell them again. Uh Go ahead, Ann. And we've got all kinds of Facebook groups, too. Oh, and good for you. They start yeah. with the, fir- the name of the drug, and afterwards mm-hmm. is the phrase, should be illegal. Uh-huh. So you can go to Zoloft should be illegal, Prozac should be illegal. Desirel should be illegal, which is Trazodone. All of them. Just put the name of the drug and then should be illegal and you'll see. But, yeah, there's so many people coming in wanting to know how to get off of the drugs and how you do it is extremely slowly. If you've been on for several years, Less than five years altogether of any. They go from Prozac to Effexor and then to Zoloft and Selexa. These doctors just jump them from one drug to another, which is really dangerous. Anyway, wow. you have to add up all those, all the amount of time you've been on them. And then if it's less than five years, you take about half that amount of time to wean down off very, very slowly, as slowly as you can. But and it's all if you've been on, on five, Right. If you've been on five years or more, you can take about a year and a half for each five years on oh. to wean off. Wow. It's a long, drawn-out process because so many of these people... They've had on. They've had them on them for like twenty years. So you got a seven times greater chance of I, breast cancer. I can't cancer. even imagine. I, I, yeah. It's just the the physical. We haven't even talked about the physical reactions. Tell me. Well, you can get the cancer I mentioned, fibromyalgia, is an after effect, sleep apnea. Uh, so many of them lose their gallbladder. What's then the link got, with the gallbladder loss? I don't know. 
Well, the liver has to process poisons, mm -hmm. toxins. Mm -hmm. The FDA doesn't approve anything unless it's toxic. It has to be toxic or they can't regulate it. <laughs> and I don't think people think about that. Oh, it's no, FDA don't. approved. That means no. it's toxic. <laughs> if you're if you're dating anyone uh -huh. we won't even talk about marriage yet. If you're dating anyone you find out that they're taking this drug, what would your advice be? Run. <laughs> Keep it simple. Um, Next. The person will constantly change. I hear from guys all the time that say, I don't know who I'm going to see each time I see her. But sounds She's like, like uh, a totally different person each time. Sounds like DID. Dissociative Identity Disorder, or otherwise known as MPD, Multiple Personality Disorder. But in point of fact, those multiple personality types can be coming from not childhood ritual abuse necessarily, but no. SSRIs. Drugs. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. So you've heard that a lot we... from men, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For years. Our poor young uh, I've people. even had mm -hmm. singles groups say, uh, we need to have you come in and lecture to our people because they're the ones that are like our revolving door group. And I said, what do you mean? <laughs> he said, well, they'll come in, find a mate, get married, get divorced, come back in, find a mate, get married, get divorced. <laughs> and they just do it over Jeez. and over and over again. Mm-hmm. I've uh, called them the divorce pills for at least 25 years. I remember. And yeah. thank you for being here uh, again and for the work you do. We'll, we'll keep at this. Keep me posted, will you? And uh, if you find that paper about twisted brain sure. cells, I'd like to see that. All right. Maybe all right. we can do one on all the homosexuality and transgender. That'll be exciting. <laughs> oh, count on it. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Count on it. Let's do that. All right. We'll get yeah. that scheduled. Okay, Ann, okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, you bet. And Blake Tracy. Okay. Well, she has made a huge contribution to so many people. Oxygen. It's nature's oldest therapy and plays an essential role in destroying viruses, bacteria, mold, yeast, and fungus, and keeping the human body healthy and strong. Now, you can give your body and your immune system a mega boost of disease-fighting oxygen with all-natural OxyC. With so many people now leading a sedentary indoor lifestyle, most are in a chronic state of oxygen deprivation, which sets up a 